logged in. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. You're having a good day. Happy Sunday. Playing the Starfield. We're going to sync up. There we go. We're going to back to Bali. Back to Bali. I don't think so. Going back to Bali. Hmm. All right. So, if you're having a great day, hit that like if you can. Thumbs up, you know. All right, so we're level. <laughs> we're level 69, dude. You, you are you guys our guest. Are really us. What number are we thinking of? 69 dudes! Sarah, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. See, yeah, that's level. That's the level we are. Been been a lot of hours playing this game, you know? It's good 250 or something. I don't know. It's up there. Coming along though, we're 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 building stuff. We're got a good ship. We got lots of money. Got superpowers and stuff. Uh, we got a, vi a rented room. Probably get that quest solved pretty quick. Well, I did visit the room before, but. Neon is for indulgence and decadence. You are our guest. Yeah, I left the door open. I visited it once. Sleep 11 hours. Felipe, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. We don't really need to sleep. I was just doing it for the quest. Gotta be checkout time now, right? Last night was enlightening. I hope to um, learn more next time. There, I guess you get that quest until your your rent runs out. So we are fulfilled. We're ready to go on about our quests. Let's pick a pick a quest here, I guess. Activities. Got a find those and just speak with Joyce you are our we guest we probably respond to this distress call eh that's about you know this person could be in trouble Stephanie thank you for liking much appreciated Where's this distress call at? It's up here somewhere. Holy crap, it's way up here. We haven't been here before. Let's check it out. Unexplored route. Guess we can't go directly. Go here first, I guess. And we use slightly less gas. Oh my, I'm all right, thanks. All right, now that we've gone there, now I think we can go. The next, next spot. Where was that? Way up here. Oh no, it's down here. We go up to this this spot. I guess you can't jump two star systems. 
What did I do today? I I assembled some Lego. I had had a Star Destroyer Lego. Heck, why am I at volley still? And we're gonna go to the crucible. I like collecting Lego and Star Wars stuff every now and then, so that was you, a good time. You are our guest. Valentino, thank you for liking. Did I have for dinner? I have Shepherd's Pie and some sidekicks. They're called, you know, like the rice mix thing. Oh no. Under my ship. Oh, good. Not under my ship. That was weird. It's under my ship, sort of. Thought I was stuck for sure, man. What's all going on here? Got the plant. I bet you that wasn't on your bingo card of what I would say. Where did I go? Oh, oh weird. Satellite goes to mine. Yorkshire pudding, mashed potatoes, nice. And I keep walking in corrosive gas. you do, eh? This one's right here. Unexplored ecological feature. Forming glider right there, eh? Things level 90. Hostile? Aggressive. Careful.
took care of the biz there. Since they're aggressive. I will shoot first. Go to the top of the mountain to see what we can see. Wanting to address the distress call. I gotta, gotta inspect. Do you see anything useful? Environment first. There's a big purple area. More nature right there. Life signs. Get the scorpion. Avengers first. The grub grazer.
You are our guest. Y'all, thank you for liking. Things were aggressive, man. Aggressive, aggressive, aggressive. No. this yours is mine and mine and my mine is mine that's plain to see and your scan shows hello yod yod the demigod Take care of them spiders, eh? What planet is this? Um, Scary Voice 3. I think is how you'd say it, but I'm not 100% sure. They're all dead. Not a good sign. I think I got my shoddy. I learned that move from Yod. God's like, gotta shoot that thing with my shoddy. I learned that yacht move from Yod too. Hit them with my sword. Yod taught me all the moves of violence. Violence settles everything. How to eat giant chocolate bars. Take care of the spiders though. How is it hanging? It's not, it's dragon. Checking out this planet, I was just spawning to a distress signal. Then I got into surveying on the way to the distress signal, so I guess I should really or attend to the distress signal. Oh, 
a trusty sword. I need uh, to use that. That thing. He's wary and is a source of lubricant. Caesar, thank you for sharing. Oh, not there. Okay, how about here? Ooh, that feels Much good. appreciated. Sophie, hey, how are you? Julian, come to his senses and get off of kick yet? You are our guest. Thank you for liking. You are our guest. No. Right. Oh, not there. Okay, how about here? Thank Ooh, you for sharing. Much appreciated. How was my weekend? My weekend's good. Yeah, you never see Julian anymore over here. You should tell him to come visit once in a while. Because he's gone to the the kick doesn't mean he should. Stop visiting. All right, what's going on here? The robot. This feels vaguely like one of those situations that ends with, and they were never heard from again. Killing of unknown origin detected. Designated outsider. This is an undisclosed secret location. Please identify purpose or depart. Outsider is not part of plan. End of inquiry. Acknowledging receipt of emergency request. Explanation deemed acceptable. Clearance granted to crucible outside. You've been keeping to yourself, just don't want to be bothered. Units of copper. Compensation will be dispensed. Tobias, stand down. We have a visitor. I could we get a hundred. Required material. End of conversation. This this is incredible. For so long we hoped for any visit, and the day has finally arrived. Oh dear, that's a surprisingly tricky question. Did I stumble I into a cult? Person to answer it, but it is a genuine pleasure to meet you. We see no one ever. Your arrival is truly an historic one. Finished this place the other day. What it portends. The societies have closed their doors and are arguing about what to do, while the rest hide to see which way the wind blows. Franklin. Do you ever watch you Clueless you Gamer by Conan O'Brien? It looks like he's going to be doing a Starfield. Most of us are like me, free and unaligned. But there are three societies that are oft at odds with one another. The Believers, the Pragmatists, and the Renegades. It would be wise to meet each of them. Franklin leads the Pragmatists. Crucible is a tinderbox, and any spark will set it off. We're still recovering from a deadly conflict that happened three years ago. Far fewer of us are here to greet you today because of it. Give it time, and I'm sure the others will come out. For curiosity's sake, if nothing else. All right, we should get this guy some copper. This unit adhere to the mission. Non-resident detected. Valid exception acknowledged. Pu puppy is watching you eat soup and he wants it. Puppies are like that. You don't understand kick? It Kick is designed... 
drive people towards the gambling site. You know, they're supposedly fed up with Twitch, but, uh, you know, they're, they're it's really designed, I think, to draw people to the gambling site stake. So, you know, by getting some of the bigger streamers kind of on board, you know, because you can't gamble on Twitch, um, they, they, uh, they give, uh, they give the streamers incentive to come over, you know, like XQC used to be a big gambling streamer and apparently there's some other guys that are trying out gambling and they bring these large communities over and, and then, you know, kick gives more of a percentage for uh, subscriptions than, uh, and Twitch does so you know and then all these other smaller streamers kind of follow over and uh, and then basically kick makes most of it or stake makes most of its money back by getting people uh, on you know into their gambling so in that aspect uh, and, and, you know, they got, kind of got some questionable things to them, too. They are a little bit lawless and uh, exploit exploitative. You know, like there was an incident where uh, one of the bigger streamers, he hired a call girl for a fan and, and was filming it. And the uh, fan or the call girl, you know... Got freaked out and wanted to leave, and basically the fan wouldn't let her. He's holding her back, and the kick owner was laughing, you know, watching the stream and laughing and stuff like that. So you know, it's kind of kind of questionable. Where do I have my co copper? Probably that's a big jump. Um. Narion, I think I have lots of copper. A lot of pills. Oh, you mean people move to kick? Most with a lot of streamers, and you know, a lot of these streamers. Some are realizing it's kind of skeesville there, but uh, some haven't. But a lot of people are noticing that it's. Um, it's mostly just streamers watching you there, you know, like, if you have an audience, then, you know, it's other streamers kind of going in there to try to grab that audience. Going to look, you don't watch it all. And, you know, the whole thing about the better commission on subscriptions is that, uh, Well, the whole thing on the commission on the subscriptions isn't really that worthwhile anyway. Facebook gives a higher commission. It gives 100% commission to their streamers right now. And Kick will eventually probably withdraw that, so. It didn't show me what was in there. So, I guess we'll take... A lot of copper. I'll transfer it to the ship. Oh, my ship's broken a bit. I didn't realize that. I wonder if I got some aluminum I can grab while I'm here. I have some aluminum. Everything but.
Don't want to go over there and look and you don't watch it all? Well, you know, if they could have their way, the owners uh, would uh, enjoy if you started gambling on steak. But they're about... I don't want to actively push my viewers to check out gambling sites, so so I'm not a fan of Kick. There we go. I got his copper. I gotta jump all the way back. Go scratch tickets on it. No, but this is like gambling, like, you know. Not like. I quite like uh, just like lotto and stuff like that. Casino gambling. And you know, you know who wins when when the when you're going against the house on casinos. The casinos aren't big and full of money because you know the the patron wins. The smoke show to get people addicted. We got some bad weather here on So I don't think kick is worth the investment of time to be honest. I think You got your copper, buddy. I gotta grab it off the ship. Yeah, he asked for a hundred fifty. That was an easy mission. I guess I had to have it on my person. Alright, let's go talk to the next dude. Any plants or anything that I want? When your ship landed, I feared the robots would shoot you on sight. I am greatly relieved that they let you enter our community. But you come during a delicate time. Everyone will seek to use your arrival to further their own end. You ask a question you already know the answer to. Yes, of course. I have need of you. But if you have a good heart and a quick mind, 
I am sure you will see my point of view. No, we most certainly do not. Our relationship with them is a matter of some debate. Where to begin? Ah, maybe an introduction? I am Franklin Delano Roosevelt, leader of the pragmatists. Hey, it's Roosevelt. Franklin Roosevelt. It is gratifying that even after all these years, my name isn't entirely forgot. You see, I was an American president. Well, not literally, but in a sense I was. Everyone that lives here are clones. Some of us are clones of the greatest figures of history, and others, well, we don't rightly know. When we die, and some of us die quite often, we are brought back. I cannot imagine how strange this must sound to an outsider. You need not imagine. I can assure you, this is all exceedingly strange. Baffling, even. Well, that's kind of interesting. Is it? I wish I could illuminate you on this. But we are as ignorant of the technology which brought us into being as we are of the outside world. Not at all. I have had occasion to see death more than anyone. When someone dies, all they have accomplished here in Crucible, all of their deeds... This is like, uh... ...are gone. Section and Destiny, the Crucible. When they come back, they are different, modified. The believers say they are improved. Being reborn can take years, sometimes over a decade. But everyone comes back. Now there is the question, isn't it? I do not have FDR's memory. But I know every nuance of his life and times. Well, it's as much as history records. I confess, I, I feel an undeniable affinity towards him. But no, I, I am my own man. But not all of us see it that way. Then you must live a remarkably interesting life. After decades, centuries, of trying to figure it out ourselves, there is so very much we don't know either. I have superpowers. Let's clone us for a reason. There. Our so-called mission. But what that is and what we should do about it is something the societies disagree about. Sometimes I wonder if they have any Canadians that are cloned. It's best you meet with the other societies. I want to meet Wayne Gretzky. I promise I'll explain the pragmatist's position on matters. Well, it is one of the few concrete things we know about Crucible. If you want to truly know about the mission, the believers will tell you all about it. In fact, it can be hard to get them to stop talking about it. After you meet with them, I'll share my position. Hmm. Please do. Word has been sent, so the street should be full again. There is more I would talk with you about, but I would not take advantage of your ignorance. Go speak with the Monirinas and Genghis Khan. Oh, well, we're going to meet Genghis Khan. Ice. Who's this? You can hear the howls at night. The mission is alive, but we have a chance to build a real life here on Crucible. That's a cool outfit. Roosevelt is the only one that really cares about us as people.
From the toilet paper? Flies? Weird corner? This. Oh dear. The cool globe. Bed. Or if that's where Roosevelt takes his doodos. Welcome to town, stranger. Consider me part of the welcoming committee. The name's Wyatt Earp. Wyatt Earp! pleased if you use one of the spare rooms during your stay. For a modest fee, of course. Oh, I'm not all that. Just had the good fortune to receive some good publicity. But to the matter at hand, I'm more than a humble innkeeper. I do the best I can to uphold the law, but the societies make that difficult. I expect I've had as much success restraining Genghis as the Chinese did. I do what I can. Roosevelt and I are both of the same mind on that. I'm for whatever side wants to keep the peace. It means that the pragmatists and I are often on the same side of things. But you might be surprised the number of times I've had to ask some of them to back off some nonsense. That's a generous offer. I might take you up on it. Well, I hope you enjoy your stay. And by the by, I may have access to some essentials I've picked up over the years. Happy to sell them to you. Of course. What you got? Why a sealant? Got some pie. I got lots of weapons. I could sell you a weapon, buddy. Eh. I don't want to sell any of those weapons. These ones. How much money do you have? Not enough. For this, look at that again. It runs hot and cold during usual times, it's an occasional scuffle, maybe a black eye when an argument gets out of hand, and then a society goes on a rampage and it's tombstone all over. I hope your arrival keeps things on an even keel. You're always welcome back. I just wish the societies could get along. Okay, so there's Genghis gone up there. Let's go see what this one over here is. No queries are being answered at this time. Ada Lovelace. I suppose I am what passes for one here. I have my namesake's education, so I am well versed there. But without any books or treatises from other scientists, my knowledge is limited. Some clones receive specialized knowledge, like Amelia. She knows how spacecraft works. So interviewing them has been fantastic for learning more advanced scientific principles. But mainly I conduct experiments. Rudimentary as they are. Why, oh, yes, Ada Lovelace, at your service. My namesake worked with Charles Babbage and is widely considered the first female programmer. And to see what our little experiments led to, I only wish Mr. Babbage was here. Uncomfortable, truth be told. 
The believers are undeniably favored by the facility. Their complex receives food and materials first. When blood is spilt, the facility robots often side with them. And always the arguments and fisticuffs. Most of us just want to live in peace. I hope we can talk again. I had hoped you would visit me. Good. Know that you stand before Queen Amanilinas of the Kush, Queen of a dead kingdom on a dead world. But I earned my name, and even the sands of time cannot take it from me. Oh, excellent. In truly ancient times, my land lay south of Egypt, a harsh country. History is enamored of my contemporary Cleopatra. But she would have withered and died had she tried to rule my land. Your courtesy is appreciated, even though it rings hollow. My subjects are all dust. If you don't believe me, no, you are not alone. Some clones deride me behind my back. I know this, but I feel in my bones. That I am a Manirinas for true, the great and the terrible to those who would oppose me. I remember things no one has told me. Memories of faces, betrayers, lovers, allies, and enemies, and the smells, the right scent, and I close my eyes. And I can picture all of it so vividly. It aches my heart, my home, my kingdom. Have you no faith of your own? Something you hold to, even though it cannot be proven. It is the same with me. But I am certain. You speak to a Manirinas reborn. If your mind and heart remain open, you will see the truth of it. Once, I called upon mighty armies. However, on Crucible I still lead. Have you heard of the Believers? Have you heard of the mission? We are the ones who will take our rightful place in these settled systems to bring in a new glorious age and break the endless cycles of oppression and greed. You are skeptical. My advisors thought the same when Augustus Caesar stood unbeatable at Cusha's border. I made war against the mighty Romans. I took their cities and fought them to a draw. No other king or queen can boast of that honor against that famed Roman. And that's just me. Some of the greatest lions of all ages are awaiting rebirth. What are bureaucrats, petty politicians, and lawyers against that? So many scoff at the mission. Before we are reborn here, there are words all of us are told. That we are the chosen. We are meant to better ourselves. To learn, grow, and thrive. All of us represent the greatest figures in our history. Who better to lead the settled systems to a new golden age? If we could do it ourselves, we would have, years ago. I do not care if you think my plan is insane. But what I want, what we want, is a chance to prove to the facility we are ready. When someone has achieved their potential, the facility is supposed to set us free among the stars, but the machines have been breaking more and more over the years, and no one has ever been deemed worthy. I need your help to properly fix the facility so that we can prove ourselves and claim our birthright. The facility is another place on this very planet, a place we cannot go as much as we dream of it. Surely someone, anyone by now would have learned the lessons the facility sought to teach. No, 
The machines have not aged well. The crises break upon our beach, each one greater than the last. Then listen well, outsider. You must go to the facility. The robots and what drives them is not here. The facility is where they come from. Somewhere far to the east. None of us can travel there. But you can go there, please. And see if the facility can be repaired. Then report back to me. You're still here. Who cares what sick experiment crucified? I hope you're all right. More violence. You don't get old on crucible unless you are smart. FDR. This is not the way. Genghis Khan's outside. Dirty. I guess the world out there is not so different than here. Genghis Khan, a pleasure to meet you. Then don't believe it. It is true his blood runs through my veins, but I am not he. Crucible tries to imprint the clones with fake memories. Genghis predated the Mongols having written records. For being so great a figure, we know practically nothing about him. When was he born? How he died? Where he was buried? A single speech he gave robots mad, trying to figure out what to do with me. My namesake, yes, a terrible, terrible person. But me, I'm really just a lowly prisoner, stuck on this pitiful planet. I am pleased that the dangers out here are of no concern to you. You cannot be fully human if you trap yourself behind walls. I would provide fresh meat for my society, so we don't get fat off the robots. Franklin and I see eye to eye on very little, but even he appreciates this. And I always hope to see some means of escape. Perhaps our luck has finally changed. The robots taught me many things any mongrel would know. So, hunting game, even such as this, is little challenge to me. 
So Franklin told you of us. Oh, that we're clones? Some of us think that makes us special. That the deeds of our namesakes are somehow ours. But that is blind arrogance. We are just people. Same as you. Same as anyone. He is. You are. Thank you for guest. sharing and liking. Much appreciate. I'm talking to Genghis Khan. And I'm at Franklin Roosevelt. Oh, not there. Okay, how about here? Ooh, that feels good. And some Egyptian queen. You might clone them. None at all. It is as if I were a student of his life and times from an early age. I know so much about him, but that doesn't mean I am him. I am me, and I am content with this. He seems pretty down to earth. I never really thought about that. Surprising indeed. Ah. But all this talk gets us nowhere. Too many of the others grovel at the feet of the damn robots. Trying to play the rules in a broken game. The renegades will not submit. And one day, we will be free. I do not know. Everything outside of Crucible is unknown to us. I imagine the same. Yeah, I bought a Pokemon today, Timothy. So that a man who does not shrink from violence can't make a place for himself, though. In uh in Walmart. They have these Hallmark uh Christmas tree decorations. So you can get you know like there's a whole bunch of Nintendo ones so I got Mario and Luigi and um Charizard that I say it they had uh another one too I can't remember which one it was now but the one it looks like a sort of test. Uh kind of a orange fox with a two two uh like a thing, two tails, I guess. I don't know. Me too? Is it a me too maybe? And they had a Pikachu's as well. They're only about eleven you, bucks. You are our guest. Maybe you're thank you for liking. So I don't know. If you're by Walmart, you might want to grab some for yourself. Or if you don't want to go to Walmart, you can always get it from their webpage while they're available. Vulpix? You are not addled, are you? He's like talking to me because I haven't responded. I was talking to Timothy here. Gang is gone. A prison of the mind and the body. Crucible holds out a throne and says, Obey, and it is yours. But thrones are meant to be taken, not handed to you by a machine. But it did you see those ornaments? Lie that keeps the others in line. This is it for the chips. They also had Sonic ones. I picked up Sonic and Tails and uh, Shadow. As I didn't well. get that. Did you try? Let's 
See, that's why I'm here to inform you. I think it was. It's gonna be a limited run, right? They they do different figures each year. Walmart. Tell you which ones they were. Walmart. Oki. Hans. They also for Stephanie. It was an Eevee. Sorry. An Eevee, an orange kind of fox like one. E E V E E. But yeah, they have four different Pokemon related. Or five different ones that are Pokemon related. But uh Stephanie, if she's here still. Might be interested in going to Walmart because there's a whole bunch of Harry Potter ones right now, too. So, uh, were it that easy, I have died a dozen deaths trying to find a way out of Crucible. You get too far or disobey too much, then death. Crucible holds our lives in its hands. But now, the robots have made a grave mistake. You... You can go where none of us can. You hold our future in your hands. And all the societies know it. What are you talking about, Lego? No, those aren't Lego. They're Christmas ornaments. You know, what better combination for Stephanie? I didn't close that poll, did I? Activate the polls. Test my patience. Yeah, you know, like there's an ornament of the winged key, for example, and all the tree toppers and or not the tree toppers, the different houses. And then there's like Harry Potter and the owl on a luggage trolley. That kind of thing. Anyway, we should talk to Genghis Khan here. What did he say about that? Oh yes, you can go one or two miles from Crucible, and you drop dead. Not Maybe they're robots. Medicine, but it's probably poison. It boils my blood to be subjugated like this. But too many of the clones are sheep. As long as their pens are clean and comfortable, they bleat their arguments. Even if you think I deserve this cage, does everyone. If you want your heartstrings tugged, talk to Amelia Earhart. Doesn't she deserve the stars she craves? You know of the facility, yes? Go there, and make the machines let us leave. It is not much to ask, and it will set us free. I mean, you know, you like Christmas, and you like Harry Potter. This is the first time I've ever seen them do Harry Potter. For uh, Hallmark there, so. You know, it might be something you might rather want to grab for your Christmas tree. They also had like all sorts of different ones too, like superheroes and so forth, but that was the first time I've seen Harry Potter though.
So, you have heard from the other societies. I must confess I'm very curious what an outsider thought of them and their positions. You might be the first objectively neutral party we've ever come across. A very diplomatic approach. The facility has gathered some of the most obstinate and dangerous personages throughout history. It has told them that they should lead in a golden age via whatever means they see appropriate. Setting us all loose and fodder as a whole would invite disaster. We are barely fit to lead ourselves. Looks like Agent K from Men Black. He's supposed to be Franklin Roosevelt. The most likely case is anyone that leaves Crucible would die or silently fail. But if the mission is correct and they do take over the settled systems, in the course of history, it took millennia to cast out petty tyrants. The way ahead lies not looking to the past to literally guide us, but for this generation to learn from us. Terrible and great figures we represent had their time. We made the most of it. We should be at peace with it. Hmm. A tough but fair question. I must admit the case of Amelia Earhart sometimes keeps me up at night. It is safer if the rule is strict. But if you wanted to make an exception or two, I... I could live with that. But no one from the other societies. They are all dangerous in their own way. Certainly. It is evident that the facility is decaying. It is both unsustainable and unwise for us to fix and maintain the status quo. Our community must be weaned off the machine. Learn how to build grow and govern ourselves allowed to raise families so we can pass our lessons to the next generation and to die when our allotted time is finished one day we will be worthy of going to the stars we are just not there yet do not listen to passion Genghis can be very persuasive, but he's a fool. In some sense, we are an abomination, a science project made for unknown ends and with uncertain results. Once we are fully human, fully self-reliant, then we should be allowed to join the settled system. And not to be indelicate, not for lack of try. Are we even human in this state? We have no future, only the past. You have no idea how profoundly grateful I am to hear that. Go to the facility and see what can be done. I wonder where Amelia Earhart is. Over here. And we need to talk. I listened to a monorenas for years before I joined the believers. Some of the current Listen, it's not safe to talk here. It's about Roosevelt. There's something you need to know. Not here. If he found out I'm even talking to you about this. Thank you. There's a, well, cave just outside town. No chance of us being listened in on. Please, come as quick as you can. Ideally, before you go to the facility. I'll meet you at the cave.
The believers will win. It's our destiny. It's if pretty you rainy. Life sentence, wouldn't you do anything to be free? Who's this guy? Is he supposed to be Blondie from the good, the bad, and the ugly? He's supposed to be Wyatt Earp. Didn't you see his name? Better save. Ah. Oh. Hey, he's supposed to be Wyatt Earp, that guy on the ground there. And the other guy's supposed to be Franklin Roosevelt, you know, the president. What you got on you? I think Genghis Khan would be carrying a sword or something. Systems needs us. Pragmatists are the only ones who keep this world from collapsing. Are there any other computers I can look at? I like looking at their computers. Guess not. Genghis Khan is the only one with a computer. How to fix the plumbing, for God's sake. You are our guest. Oh, thank you for liking. Yeah, they have a pool table. The pragmatists are the only ones who keep peaceable for what you do. Change is coming. I can feel it. If they'll attack me,
One of the single. Now they're watching me pick it. I found Amelia Earhart's hearts outfit. So she must live near here at least. Your arrival doesn't mean more violence. You can hear the howls at night. What's it like to hold? I guess it's 10 XP's. To inspect their rooms. Roosevelt is the only one that really cares about us as people. Unless you are smart, FDR is the wisest guy. Guess we should go talk to Wyatt Earp. the hard way up.
Although, you know, Timothy's gas is pretty good considering. You came. I, I just can't take a chance. These clones, they, they're psychotic, crazy. If they find out, I'm sorry. I, I just can't take the chance. Yes. Yes, I do. I'm not Wyatt Earp. I wish. God, how I wish I was. I was cloned off a monster. America's first serial killer. H.H. H. Holmes. Well, that is less auspicious. <laughs> He was a deranged lunatic on old Earth. In the 1890s, he owned a hotel. He'd lure people there in this crazy hotel with all sorts of terrible rooms. But I'm not him. You gotta believe me. Alexa, who is H.H. H. Holmes? like a living nightmare if you go to the facility i know you'd find out who i am and if you let any of these bloodthirsty maniacs know they'd kill me but no that wouldn't be the end every time my new clone would appear death torture pure hell i'm afraid it's you or me i'm going to kill you I really, really don't. Besides Ada and maybe Amelia. You're the nicest person I've met. But the other clones, they would tear me apart. Don't you see? They're the monsters. I just, I just don't want to be tortured like that. Please, please forgive me. A few of the old timers know I used to go by Bill Hickok. I mean, I had to make up a story. I always used to read the dime novels and I figured I knew enough about Wild Bill and Wyatt to pull it off. I just had no way of knowing what my previous life had picked. So I played dumb. But Roosevelt is a crafty one. I just don't see a way out. Wyatt Earp was a hero. Maybe I can. I want to believe you. I do. I don't want to die. I'm... I'm going to trust you, okay? Just don't... <laughs> this... This never happened. Well, I suppose it could be worse. Hey, give me 6,300 credits. some repeat business we're off to the facility where's the facility at on my ship Got some fauna left now.
Did you see my level, Timothy? If you guys are really us, what number are we thinking of? 69, dudes! <gasps> Up there. He just noticed the options. Look at all that sweet XP. I see Stephanie voted yes. I just sprained my ankle or something. Like a space wor roach.
You know, it's Mike Patton's band, you know. Fire some rocks at me or something. Or I guess we've had enough killing spiders for now. Nobody watching is arachnophobia. Stephanie must like them. Like Mike Patton, he's, he does a good song. He's got the most octave octaves out of any singer. Oh, I can build an elbows. I don't know if Stephanie's really here or not. Come on, scan it. Or, or just shoot it, Andreja. Do you hear? Do you remember the quiz where we asked 
where I asked who my favorite singer was? Faith No More is the name of a band. This one's for Space Garage. Yes, me. Some dude was hitting on Stephanie the other day. He called her beautiful. Kiss Me is a Faith song. I saw Faith No More live in concert. Not Faith, but Faith No More. The combination of Mike Patton, Billy Gould, Mike Borden, Roddy Bottom. That was a few years ago now. I saw them in Vancouver. They were on uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure 2, actually. In that, uh, where they're introducing them to all the characters. Where are we going here exactly? What's eating them? Use these spiders have taken over taken over the place.
All right, we got one clue. It's weird, eh? Like aliens. Some grapes there. Those are probably fresh. This is leveling up my ninja skills. I have to get 30 kills with my... I think your favorite brand, brand is Bruno Mars. Uh, no. Remember we talked about this before. It's right in my description of my stream. You know, like if you go and look at the description of my stream, it tells you who, who my favorite singer is. It, like you 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 guys found it eventually um or maybe you just copied somebody else i don't know Why would you think Bruno Mars is my favorite band? Like, what gives you that impression? You know, I probably couldn't name a name a Bruno Mars song, to be honest. No, but you got to have some logic to your guess. I mean, I've had a music name person in the last 20 streams. It doesn't mean I'm a fan of them. Because I have a poll that asks there. There's one that asked if you like Dolly Parton. I'm not a Dolly Parton fan. I don't know any Bruno songs. That's why I'm saying that I'm not really a fan of his. Did he sing that song about the... Uh, being lazy every day or something? This gun. 
worth 16 grand. Like today, da 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 da. I don't know. And they're dressed as monkeys in the video. But I remember that because I played Guitar Hero and it played the video. Lazy is probably the song I'm thinking of. But let's, you know, there's a big giant um, screen of information on every poll. And like today's name of the poll is called Star AD. And it has like a bio in it it tells you when i started streaming tells you all sorts of things and it tells you who my favorite singer is i'll go to my old one here my lips you know there's a big giant that's my old stream i, I have to go to an old one because well this is the current stream rather i guess Welcome to my stream, broadcasting live from beautiful British Columbia, Canada. I am your host, Chacal Star, proud Canadian streamer and Facebook partner. As you can see, I am playing on my trusty Xbox Series X today, ready to take on any challenge that comes my way. Thank you for your support and viewership and your unwavering cheers as I embark on this gaming journey. Here's a bit about me. And then I put that I am a huge LA Kings fan and Mike Patton enthusiast. Among other things. You ever want to know when I started streaming when I got my partnership? All written there. On the can. There's like a bug right there, eh? All well, these bugs get a... along with each other
That was awkward, I missed. I should complain to Facebook that Stephanie can't find that description because anybody should be able to find that description. Should be everybody that watches. Anybody any of any regular regularness to being here could have read that at least once, I would think. And obviously it's not visible enough. The description of uh, of the stream. So there's like when you look at the stream, like the video, right? So you know how it has the chat on the right there. It says. Star or Chacal Star is streaming Starfield. And it says there's overview, live chat, your replies, that kind of thing. If you click on the overview tab or the overview button, you are our guest. Uh, it'll say the title, and then it says the title again. It says see more. If you click see more, it has like all the description and information. Um, you know, basically tells you my bio and when I, when I started streaming, when I became a partner, all that stuff, Matt, thank you for liking much appreciated. Do not trust. Bill Hickok. Anyways, I figured that Facebook must not be making it that obvious. Mind you, you know, I don't know. I guess not many people would click overview necessarily. Probably poor wording, eh?
Ada's questions. Who created the facility? Is the mission the real reason it was created? Do we really share DNA? Their namesakes? Are we? Are any people watching us? Are any the robots is intelligent? Unintelligent? They appear? Are the reborn really what they claim? So many questions. So people are. Two people are asking the right questions. On the weight room. On the spaghetti. You are our guest. We got six out of seven clues. Esther, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. Best not to leave anything useful behind. Go up here and see if there's any other clues up here. I think Timothy wasn't here when we were playing that quiz game of which singer is my favorite singer. I think S is the one that found it, though. Although she might have guessed from the hints. Maybe never did find it. I don't know. I'm leveling this one up. I gotta kill one more thing with a melee sneak attack. It has to be aggressive. You guessed it from my hints.
That's the accident outer world, I think. Sounds like there's something around here. that Kind of a maze here, right? Eh? Oh, maybe we gotta go down there. I don't know. Check out the room just in case. Been there. You know, it's always good to save every now and then just in case locks up or something like that, you know. You turn your time back, Stephanie? There we go. Happen to have a skill point. Is 
This thing's making me deadlier by the minute. Although now I got a sneak attack. 75 more. Really level it up. Oh, look at I turn invisible now automatically. You see that? Detected me. Holy camoli, man. Oh! The crap. I didn't realize I was low on hit points. I think I saved not too long ago. I was just trying to be sneaky. Do them up here. Oh, that one's level 90.
Thank you. That one is going to leave a mark. Crap. Oh jeez, I just healed too. Okay, I can't mess around trying to sneak attack these guys. That thing is like way more way more than my level. Uh, alien reanimation. Oh, he got me anyway. Here I was grenading them and can't help it. I sometimes I flick over the health back and go to another weapon there.
Try that again here. Well, that was alien reanimation. That's why it didn't work. Our grenades ready. be more strategic I guess I didn't help my team. Holy crap. I did a reanimation there. I don't know what Stephanie said yeah to. That was the toughest creature I've faced yet. Oh yeah, set time back, that's right.
Fuck down, I can't go down there. So I don't know what information we really gained there, but Oh, this is that space garage. world's largest hill
Oh, we ran into one of these before. Hey Timothy, did you see that Dreamlight Valley is gonna have multiplayer allowed? Like so, you'll be able to go to Stephanie's Valley kind of thing or stuff like that. Which society do you think I should help? I don't know if that what I found in those notes was really that helpful to be honest. King has con blew a hole in it. full of spiders. fire. I think uh, I got a little bit of friendly fire there. Junk.
turn on precognition. Tell which one's which. You don't get old or crucible unless you're smart. FBR is powerful. Your eyes are shutting on you? See, my precognition tells me. Curious lady. We are not one hundred percent sure. I have a theory. The facility has been unreliable as long as I've been alive. My guess is that they are historical figures that just didn't get a proper education. Who's to say what Julius Caesar actually looked like? Or some modern person of note that we wouldn't even know about? Whoever they are, though, they are as smart and capable as the ones that know their identity. You have to have a at eleven AM. Is that when Remembrance Day is? I do. Is it the eleventh on Saturday? Is. My feelings about my namesake are complicated. He was a great but flawed human being. On one hand, he guided a country through the ravages of depression and war. Admirable. He tirelessly fought to improve the lives of the poor and disadvantaged. But as a husband, he was unfaithful. And as a colleague, he was a consummate politician, which is sometimes good, often distasteful. He was truly a great man, and I must confess, I am proud to share his heritage. We are unnaturally dependent on the machines of the facility for every aspect of our society. The pragmatists seek to take the reins of power ourselves. We will cultivate, work, and govern for ourselves. Perhaps, once we have demonstrated that we can govern ourselves well, we can try and bring our leadership to the settled systems. But to do so too early, I fear, courts disaster. This is probably the right choice. These people need time. They are not ready for what awaits them in the settled systems. Let me see. Well, Andre just seems to like that. I have no idea what a reassurance it is to learn even these hints of our past. It sounds like the facility is in ruins, but perhaps the restricted section is intact. Think of the answers it must contain, and perhaps a way to help us become self-sufficient. But there is no security override code here. I, I would know. Think.
to think that Crucible was not our first home. And Genghis Khan destroyed it. I have told people time and time again that the renegade will be the death of us all. And they already were once. <sighs> the only thing clear to me is despite the facility's efforts, we haven't grown at all. Embarrassingly so. And most are too busy jockeying for a position to delve behind the thin lies the facility told them. We all assumed that we arrived via spaceship. But knowing we did, and knowing it was called the Galathea, it sates a need I did not know I even had. I don't think that's possible. You try hiding something interesting from Ms. Lovelace. No. The answer must lay with Galathea's twin, the Beagle. Yes, if it can be found. Certainly, they had the capability of hey, going Timothy. into the heart of the facility. If anyone can figure a manner of locating the Beagle, it's Ada Lovelace. I'll radio her and explain the situation. I'm sure she will make every effort to assist. Yeah, outside or inside? Must be outside. Then we will most likely you are our guest thank you for liking your visitation is a prayer answered so we didn't come from a spaceship of course we did and there's another out there what was the beagle why did she and the Galathea part? But all of that in time. First, we must find her. She's not in this star system. I would have spotted her. Hmm. I've studied the celestial bodies for years. No trace of a spaceship in orbit here or around the other planets. The radio telescope. It has a default position. It resets every morning. I always wondered, why point at Bell 5? Petty frustration I've dealt with for years. Perhaps the facility looks for her sister. Yes. Yes, it makes sense. I can send you the coordinates. The Bell Star system is not far. The facility communicates via a secure frequency. When you arrive, tune into that. Share the secrets of the facility with someone else. Have a care, outsider. The others would defile the facility. Please, outsider, consider the mission and what it could mean for the galaxy. Roosevelt and the pragmatist vex us. True, they do help us try and maintain the facility, but they deny the mission. Such hubris. We were sent here for a reason. Why can't they see that? And Genghis and the Renegades are little more than brigands spoiling for a fight. They would destroy everything if it meant they could be unleashed on the galaxy. Clearly, none of them will ever reach their potential. As you wish, outsider. Well, I gotta work tomorrow. I'm gonna hit the hay. You are our guest. Shaheed, thank you for liking. Much appreciated. You guys haven't followed yet. Uh, please uh, do so. If you wanna check out you, my YouTube, it's, video, it's in the video description there, the overview.
Do you like Faith No More? 83% said yes. And 17% also said yes. There you go. Everybody should like Faith No More. Anyway, whatever role you played, thanks so much. Those who shared, liked, chatted, most recent chatters, Timothy, Stephanie, Asta. You, uh, still here, thank you so much. But if you weren't one of the chatters, thank you also. So have a good night, everyone. Thanks again.